Hi everyone, so the video that I have for you today is on a fall makeup for hazel eyes. Um, I decided to do sort of like a little series for all different makeups for the fall for different colored eyes. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests um, specifically for you know blue eyes or green eyes or brown eyes and um, blonde hair, this color skin, this, this that and um, the whole other thing so I am going to do a tutorial on four different color eyes I'm gonna do one on hazel eyes green eyes blue eyes and brown eyes um, my eyes are hazel so I decided to do a tutorial on myself the rest will be on um, friends and girls that are going to be helping me out um, creating these tutorials so that you guys can have the perfect fall makeup for your perfect eye color um, but if you want to learn how to get this makeup for hazel eyes, then please keep on watching. Hi everyone, so I'm gonna start out by prepping my face with a, a makeup spray. Um, and this is a finishing spray, I like to put it on before and after. I'm then going to be getting rid of my dark circles, so I'm gonna be taking my erase paste in medium two from Benefit and placing that all underneath my eyes. For my foundation, I'm using Dream Wonder foundation from Maybelline. This is kind of like a liquid to powder foundation. I believe this is in number 328. I'm taking a damp beauty blender and just blending that all over my face and blending in that concealer as well. To set, I'm using this HD Makeup Forever powder and I want to make sure I blend this in really, really well. Once I'm done blending that in and setting my foundation, I'm then just going to be contouring with my favorite bronzer, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Once I'm done contouring my face, as I always do, I'm going to move on to my brows. First, I want to brush them out. And then for my brows today, I'm going to be filling them in with my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. And this is what it looks like right here. So I'm just going to be filling them in as I normally would. I will probably link the video to my um, brow tutorial somewhere on here. And then I just used a little concealer pencil from NYX to shape out my brows. Then I'm getting ready for these shadows. Um, so for this shadow, I want to make sure I have a base. This base is the MAC Lay and Low Paint Pot. I'm going to go into my Lorac Pro Palette and take the color Mauve and I'm just going to blend this all over my lid and into the inner crease and outer crease. But as you can see, I'm just blending this very softly with a blending brush. Then for the main colors for this tutorial, I'm taking this Cozy Cashmere Palette um, number 100 from Maybelline Eye Studio. I'm using the outer two matte colors, this dark chocolate brown, as well as this um, kind of orangey red. And the reason why I'm using these colors is because um, oranges and red colors bring out the green and hazel eyes. So I'm just going to be blending those on the outer corner of my eye and the um, underneath part of my eye as well and I want to make sure it's blended out really, really well. And then I'm using my MAC Vanilla Pigment in the inner corner to brighten up the eyes. I also use the MAC Rose Pigment underneath my eye. I don't know what happened to this part of the video, but um, I use the NYX Wonder Pencil in the waterline as well. Um, so as you can see, I kind of already have that on. Um, and then I'm just blending a little bit of black underneath the eye. I use the Lorac front of the line pro to line my eyes and then the smoky lash from makeup forever to put my mascara on and then the blush is desert rose by mac and then of course we need to have lots of lots and highlight and this is the soft and gentle from mac yeah i don't know what happened with this video guys all the videos just like got deleted or like didn't show up um but i hope that you guys can understand it pretty well i think i got the main points down right for lips, I am actually just going to be filling in my lips. I didn't use any lip liner. This is number 940 Touchable Taupe from the Maybelline Nude Collection. I love this color with um, dark skin tones. Um, 
probably around like the olive tan skin tones. Um, it's not too dark and it's not too light. Um, but I used that on the outer part of my lips. I left the inner part bare and I'm just going to fill that in with um, Max Myth. So I'm going to create a little bit of an ombre effect. And then this is the final look guys. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Um, also let me know in the comments below if you tried it out and don't forget to take some pictures and hashtag beauty by Julia so that I can see it. And also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and follow me on Instagram um, which is also at beauty by Julia. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.